I'm Ryan Milton from Team Flex, and today we're going to be looking at the Muscle Fest Pro out of Romania. And we're going to look at the uh, bikini division here, and we're going to compare our top five competitors, talk a little bit about the criteria, talk about you know why the placings may have landed the way they did, and what all of that means for you as a bikini competitor out there trying to do your best on stage. It's exactly what I do on this channel all the time, so if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, and make sure if you like these types of videos, Give that thumbs up, drop me a comment, let me know, and I'll keep turning them out, okay? more we can do with this, the more you're going to learn, the better you're going to do on stage. I promise you that. So, uh, like I said, this is the Romania Muscle Fest Pro, and we have our top five competitors. Actually, top three in the shot now. We'll look at the fourth and fifth here in just a little bit. So, this is Carrie. Uh, she's the winner. We have Alina over here taking second, and then we have Natalie over here taking third. So, right out of the gate, what we can say is a very muscular bikini look coming out of Romania. All right, and this is what happens, you guys. You got to understand where you compete and what you're doing. The look's going to change based on the competitors there. So, you know, uh, what could be too much muscle in certain lineups would actually be just the right amount of muscle in others, would actually just be the right amount of muscle in, you know, whatever group, or maybe not enough in another. So, it just goes around to say that you got to really know where you're competing and understand that show to show. Things can look a little bit different based on the competitors that show up, but the criteria always remains the same. And so for bikini division, that criteria, again, remains to be the hourglass shape, um, which we always talk about on this channel. This is really your goal as bikini competitors, figure out how to get that width in the shoulders, the taper in at the waist, and then the lower body that matches everything. Uh, the most symmetrical athlete, the most hourglass shaped athlete is going to be the one that wins in pretty much every single lineup. And so when we look at this here, this is where we see with Carrie, right? So really good shoulder shape, really good overall delt fullness. You can see the front delt, the lateral delt, everything is there. It's nice and full and it really does start to create that good width for her. She has very nice waist taper here overall. Uh, it could probably come in a little bit more, but for her physique and the amount of muscle she has, you know, it does work very, very well because basically what we see is just this great tapered look which really does start the first piece of the hourglass shape that judges want to see. Lower body wise, definitely carrying more muscle like I said, but since she's carrying more muscle up top here in the shoulders, works just fine. So very developed upper glute, overall glute fullness, and down into the hamstrings and the quads. You almost start to think that, okay, this could be a little bit of a quad dominant look for her, but no, it's not because again, she has just a lot of muscle overall. You can really see that even too with her midsection, that oblique pop. So. For her, conditioning, very on point. You know, we see the soft lines in the legs and the glutes and the shoulders um, and into the oblique here. This is what judges are looking for, mostly uh, conditioning-wise, aiming for that flat stomach. She really pulls that off. So very symmetrical, very muscular, but very conditioned right to criteria look. Uh, when we look over here at Alina, what we see, again, is good shoulder shape, good overall uh, size here. Some differences, I think she came in just a little bit too lean. I mean, she's still got the good waist taper. Glutes do look a little bit depleted, though, especially up against Carrie here. So the depletion of a muscle group, you know, it'll start to look like that when you diet really hard. So sometimes you come in a little too lean or you're chasing condition or whatever it is. Uh, your muscles can flatten out, and so she still has that shape, but, you know, we can definitely see upper glute, overall kind of glute, just not really popping as much, not as much fullness here, and her muscle bellies overall look a bit stringy, right, so we can see um, her quads kind of look a little stringier, her glutes look a little stringier, so great overall physique, maybe just a tad too lean, a little bit tad depleted when you're up against Carrie, who's got all this muscle, and she really did nail that conditioning, it's going to be a problem, right? So that's, again, how you fall into um, that placing there up against Carrie. Now, in third, Natalie here. So very muscular physique. I mean, the, like I said, this do, this pro division here, this call out uh, is very, very muscular in Romania for whatever reason. And again, just has to do with the look changes that are going to happen um, at, at different events. This for her, you know, again, just doesn't have enough lower body dominance, I don't think. It, it, you know, we're getting too much upper body from this. Very good overall physique, but a lot of upper body look, a lot of pronunciation of the shoulders, so to speak. Not as much down in the lower body. It almost looks like she's a top heavier athlete in that sense, and I think that that... Um, could be a factor for her. However, we always say we got to look to the back to get the full story. And here we see again a very 
close, but again, very different looks from each of our three athletes in this. So Carrie, obviously very good shoulder shape from the back. We can see that. That really does help create the tapered look. Judges want to see. Um, her glutes are very, very full. So a lot of fullness here, a lot of muscle going on in the upper glute, the overall glute. You know, the tie-in is popping, just like how judges will want to see here. Slight separation uh, between the glute and the hamstring tie-in. And, you know, we can see that her uh, quads and her hamstrings are pretty symmetrical to match that and really from the back the glutes are taking the show it almost looks like that size could be too much right like almost start to get a wellnessy type of glute three-dimensionality here but not in this lineup not in this show not with the amount of muscle that's on stage in the rest of the top five that's going to be something that comes through so uh, and again on her physique she has the very developed shoulders so it matches just fine it looks very good that's a very good look for her boom first place obviously right alina a little bit you know less of the shoulder look a little bit less of that muscle and again the glutes just look depleted they look a little bit down so we still got good shape overall she still definitely has the good you know markers of this just maybe came in a little bit too lean and or depleted the look a little bit too much in peak week and that's not going to be enough to pull through you know that dimensionality that 3d effect that carries glutes and hamstrings are giving next to her in that lineup and looking over here at natalie again it's all the same thing that we saw in the front just not enough muscle you can really see that in this back post her glutes uh, overall seem to have a little bit less of the size. She needs some more size there. You almost start to get an overpowering effect from the quads even here and the hamstrings. So again, a little bit more glute development for her would go a long way. And, uh, you know, her conditioning maybe is a tad too lean from the back as well, it appears. Now, let's bring into our fourth and our fifth here. Uh, so we have Katarina over here in fourth. And then we have over here. Patricia, okay, Patricia in um, fifth. So this is going to be our fourth and our fifth, and we get to see a little bit of a difference in the lineup. A lot of similarities, though. A lot of muscular uh, athletes in this lineup and a lot of conditioning, you know, kind of differences. So when we look right at Katarina, what we can see is, you know, she has everything here. I would change this posing a bit. A little bit more rotation here. We're losing that shoulder. It makes her look a little bit more up and down. That's one thing that, you know, you can always take to effect when you're competing, even at the pro level. You really want to master your best angles because if you show them incorrectly, you know, or even for a second, that's what really judges are going to pick up on. And that happens to you all down at even the bottom bottom level if you never compete before and you're going to your first show you want to make sure that you really have your best angles at play all the time overall good physique appears to be a tad leaner right on the leaner side we start to see a little bit more cuts than normal here uh, we start to see a little bit of a harder line in the quad a little bit more feathering going on over here so She's got good muscle, good shape, maybe a tad too lean, and uh, could have changed her posing a bit, I think, and that may have favored her well. Looking over here at Patrizia, what we see is good shoulder shape, good overall shape, nice tapered look, really good fullness into the glute and the quads. What I think for her, it's the opposite effect than what we're seeing at Katarina, as she's a little soft looking here, right? The conditioning looks a little bit softer, a little bit uneven. Her lower body looks softer than her midsection and her upper body, and that is a factor, right? You want to have even conditioning up and down. If you don't have that, that's something judges can pick up on. They start to see that can be a factor. And again, we got to go to the back to get the full story. So when we look at this here, what we see is Katarina does not look to be having as much uh, muscle in the glute or even the shoulders for this matter. So just a less muscular athlete overall, maybe dieted in too much, maybe came a little too lean, burnt a little bit, too much muscle there. Who knows? But that's what we're seeing on stage in this lineup. When you look at Carrie, clearly muscle is winning the lineup. That's what judges want to see, that 3D effect, that fullness with the right conditioning. So again, that trickles down to every event all you competitors out there are going to be doing. You want to pay attention to that. It's not a dieting contest. It's not about getting as lean as you can. It's about hitting your conditioning, but also showcasing very, very good muscle. That's where you want to be. Um, and then we look over here at Patricia, and what we can see clearly is that, you know, she has has, you know, from the front, a uh, different conditioning effect. I mean, we're just not seeing as much in the back. It's a lot tighter looking in the back, but her glutes kind of look out of balance in a way. They tend to pop too much. Her shoulders are not showing up to the party at this uh, angle. So again, makes her glutes look too dominant, too much pop there, too much of that 3D effect compared to the other, uh, other muscle groups, in other words. So you know, her quads and her hamstrings don't appear to match her glutes, and that becomes sort of an issue. And also, she just looks softer from the front overall. So that puts her in fourth place, uh, fifth place. Sorry. However, all great examples of criteria. 
And uh, again, keep in mind, this is a very muscular, very lean version of bikini compared to what we will see most of the time. That's what happens. That's what can happen in other competitions. So uh, if you guys like these, you want more reviews like this, drop me a comment. Let me know. And we'll keep going over that. Let me know who you think in the comments below. Do you like this look? Do you think bikini should look like this more often at pro level? Or do you think, yeah, this looks a little bit too hard, a little bit too much muscular, right? I want to know. Drop it in the comments below and make sure you subscribe. We got more videos coming. Thanks for watching. Coach Rye is out.